Hi, this is Corey Christensen with Artist Action Network, uh, and I'm going to be demonstrating the cloth modifier for 3DS Max. So currently I'm in my top view, and I'm just going to make a uh, box um, to use as a table surface. And I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to type in 36 inches by 72 inches by 2 inches. And that should give me, yeah, a decent tabletop there. Now, um, I'm going to add some legs to this so that we can have the cloth kind of drape over that. And so I'm just going to right click on the box and convert to an editable poly. And then in the uh, ribbon up here for the for modeling, I'm going to click on Swift Loop. And Swift Loop allows me to make some divisions easily. Like that, and again, they don't have to be perfect. Uh, and then come up to Swift Loop, Swift Loop, and click off of that. And then come over to the right, and in the sub object mode, select Polygon, and then just click on one, and then hold Control and click on the others, and then come over to the right menu here and click on the settings for extrude. And then there you have it. And we can just increase the length of those table legs to about there. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then just go ahead and click OK. And then I'm just going to go to my front view. I'm going to hit F. And I'm going to come up here and click off my polygon mode. And I'm just going to move my table up to floor height about there. Okay, now I'm going to go to my top view, hit T, and I'm going to make a cloth um, over the top of the table here. And I'm just going to do that with a plane. And again, I don't need this to be huge because it's just going to act like a tablecloth on the table. So I'm just going to do something kind of like that. And then um, I'm going to go to the front view again, and it's sitting down on the ground here. So I'm going to raise that up above the level of the table so it can fall and then drop directly onto there. Now, the other thing I need to do is I need to come over to my modify uh, panel, and I need to increase the segments of the plane. Uh, and you can either do that by increasing your segments uh, over here or a real quick way to do that is just go into the modifiers and hit Turbo Smooth and click on a few iterations of that, and that will dramatically increase the number of polys. All right, now we already have our plane selected, so go ahead and hit Control and click on your table. And now you have the two things selected. And come back up to your Modify panel and your Modifier list. And if you come down to Cloth and click that. Uh, and then on the right-hand side, the very top thing is Object Properties and click on that. And so here, you'll see the box that we just made as well as the plane that we just made. And if you click on the box, you're going to have it be an inactive object, meaning it's not going to move. And then it's a collision object. So it, it's going to be bumped into by the cloth, essentially. And that's really all you need to click on for that. And then for the plane, it will be active. So we're going to click on that as cloth. And then we're going to come down to the presets, and you can choose whatever material you'd like. I'm going to choose cotton because it tends to drape uh, fairly easily. And then that will automatically change all these parameters 
to be like cotton, which is pretty amazing. And so go ahead and click OK. And then I'm going to come back to the front view here. And then you come over to the right and you're going to click simulate. And there it is. And so it's creating an animation of this dropping and then draping over the table. Now you can stop it pretty much any time um, since we're really not using this for an animation. We're just going to get a still. So I'm just going to hit cancel here. But you can drag and, you know, if you want it where it's dropping, you can save it at that level or you can just bring it over to the side when it's stopped. Uh, and then if you want to save that uh, cloth in that position, you can just hit Control D to unselect everything and then just select your cloth, right click it, come down. Sorry right click, come down, and then you're going to just convert to an editable poly. There we go. And then you can see that that becomes a separate entity from the table. And so that's kind of the uh, easy way of using the cloth modifier. Uh, and you can create some very uh, dramatic effects, realistic effects uh, with that uh, modifier. So I hope that helps.